All right, so we're going to do some problems where it's actually just reverse. <coughs> These are called anti-logarithms. Everyone say that? What is an anti-logarithm? Basically, you have this sentence here. It says, find x if the natural log of x equals blank. Let's go ahead and try that. Two examples here. So instead of writing the anti-log, we're basically saying ln of x equals blank. Well, what do I put in this blank? 1.3475. So we're trying to find a number. Natural log of x equals this is our answer. You could do the same thing. You could put this um, into your y equals, right, and look at your table of values and get an estimate. Or we can just evaluate the natural log. Sounds repetitive, right? What have we been learning? Class, what's the natural log? Log base e. Partner A, tell partner B, what do we do in this next step? Ready, set, go. Class, what's our base? And what do we do? Switch them. So we can actually um, just put that into our calculator, right? So I'm trying to show you guys, it sounds kind of weird, maybe it's kind of undoing 12 years of math for you. Calculator work isn't just strictly just punching a bunch of stuff. You can actually do things all the way to the very end, and I call that a calculator-ready equation. Everyone say calculator-ready equation. So when we do trig next semester, right, it's not just punching in a bunch of stuff. It's actually like you understand the process of what's happening. So my E button is there by the 4. It's in blue, so I'm going to press second natural log. And then I'm going to type in that number, 1.3475. And let's go ahead and round this answer to four decimal places, just like we did. That gives me 3.8478. And math is so awesome that you can actually check your answer, right? x is this number, so we can actually type in natural log of x and get that answer. Let's try it. Natural log of x, this number, and what number do we expect it to be? See that? So it's just a reverse operation of what we just did previously. Let's try another one. Partner B, tell partner A, what do we write when we see anti-natural log? Put your finger in the orange box. What are we writing? ln of x equals blank. Put your finger on what goes in the blank. That, right? Class, what's the natural log? Log base E. Class, what's my base? What do I do with those numbers? And there's our calculator ready equation. What's some advantages about the calculator ready equation? Let's just say you have this on your paper and then you put an X and you get the wrong answer. At least I can give you like a 3.75 out of 4. If you decide to do no work and have an answer and it's wrong, okay, I can't even give you any partial credit because I don't know if you know anything. Does that make sense? So there is advantages of having all of this work. Second, natural log. 
six two. I get x to be approximately ten point eight seven two one. I'm not quite sure if that's correct. Partner A, tell partner B, how do you check your answer? If I put it back into the natural log, and I get our answer. Two examples of how to use antilogs.